Okay, so let's take a pause here, right? Her vitals have been fine. Her spleen is packed off. She has blunt trauma. So let's go ahead and check for RP hematomas really quick. Okay. Because she's doing all right. So we're looking at zone one, which again is your periaortic and peri-IVC. So, so down the stomach, liver up, stomach down. A little hard with this little Yep, don't see anything there. Okay, let's go inframesocolic. That was, ooh, this is beautiful anatomy here. Look at this. This is amazing. There's nothing there. Keep moving. Big Rich. Wow, our kidney is like floating. Right there. Yep. Keep moving. Big Rich. Here's nothing. All right. Just, uh, just go around clockwise. Zone three, left zone three, this would be your iliacs. So zone two would be your left kidney, zone three would be your left iliacs. Nothing. All right, Dr. why you take this, keep going all the way around. Right zone three, nothing. All right, so this is a quick look for retroperitoneal hematomas. Okay. Don't see any. We're going to run the bowel real quick to make sure nothing, yep. that we're not missing any holes. Again, we'll do this multiple times before we close, but just a quick pass through now, for, look for anything obvious. So start at the ligament of trites, the suspensory ligament of the duodenum. So colon, transverse colon goes up and onto the chest, all the way down to the base of the musicolon, and start running the bowel. Two-person procedure, we fan out the bowel, milking the lumen all along the way, and examining both sides of the mesentery all the way down to its base, looking for holes, vascular injury, hematomas, contusions, anything not normal. That's a good job working together, keeping it fanned out the entire way, flipping both sides, yep. Flipping, flipping, yeah. It should be like a 10 centimeter segment. Flip. So it's flip, move, flip, move, flip, move. Yeah. Now, if she were dumping her pressure or hemorrhaging, we'd get that spleen out right away. Mm -hmm. But we clearly have time to do this first. Right. You just go with what's, what's handed to you. But you would not be faulted for just getting a spleen out and then doing this. Right, right, right. All right, now with the terminal ileum. So what are we going to find here, David? Appendix. The appendix is there. Fat pad of trees or the fold of trees. Tree. T R E V E. T R E V E S. Right now, we're going to weigh up the ascending colon. She's got a very pretty anatomy. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How lucky are we? Okay. Big Rich, please. Uterus. All right, so we've done our initial exploration. You know the spleen's busted. On CT scan, there's some liver laceration, which you don't feel, so they're not really clinically significant. We check for RP hematomas, nothing there. We run the bowel, nothing there. So now our plan of attack is to get the spleen out.